Hi, this is Big Los, and welcome back to Let's Play Hard Nova. As you can see, I am orbiting Mastacini, because off-camera, I went back to Pinnacle Base, picked up some more energy cells, picked up a couple more energy packs, then when I went back to the ship, I replaced Serolon and Janai's armor and AMLs with the ones I had in the pool, then I took the ones that were in their inventory back to Mastacini to sell them because I could get better prices then on Holbrook. And now I'm going to go to the ruin system to the coordinates that Kendall gave me, but first I'm going to stop at Aerial Space Station just because they got the cheapest gas in the four systems. Turning my guns on because I will be assaulted by red ships pretty soon. And there they are. Let's see. Up, oh, Acre Jenner gain a level. What about Stark? Did you gain a level? Nope, not yet. Okay. So let's max out navigation song at 50. And then I guess we'll just put the rest into fitness. So whenever Acre Janner gains a level, he or she will gain more hit points. What? What are these? Only cost 500 roof fuel. Not bad. All right. Just return to the ship. What are these? What are those yellow things? Let's uh let's turn off the guns. I need to put Saralon back in as the tech. Since she has the highest Starcom, she can analyze those unknown ships the fastest. Let's analyze them. Let's get one in range. Okay, contact 53. I wonder if that means it's the 53rd unknown ship that I've come in contact with. I'm not sure. Let's turn on countermeasures. Because I'm getting a whole bunch of missiles shot at me. And it looks like the aerial ships, if they try to shoot me with lasers, they don't damage me nearly as fast as Rogers Amaro can repair the damage. Alright. Looks like we're getting the information. Typhon Probe. Typhon Probe? Oh man, you crashed into me. I guess that's the only way you could damage me, huh? Well, I guess I gotta go to S Tikwar Space Station and repair that, otherwise I will lose a lot of fuel. I hate it when that happens. Yeah, since I'm here, I might as well just refuel the ship, even though it's almost three times as expensive. All right. Now that she has analyzed this completely, we can put Janai back in the tech spot so she can gain more experience. And once you get some colors over here, that means that you've acquired the signature for the ship. So now you can use the probe signature. And we've never been in this Stargate right here before, so it'll take us to the rune system, or the ruine system. Don't fault me if I say rune, because it's just faster to say it that way. And I'm not even sure how it's pronounced at all, so... Alright, so let me give you a little tour of the ruine system. Oh yeah, by the way, when you're flying around here, you're going to find these ships... They're completely stationary, and you can't target them. I don't know why they're there. 
I th there's at least like two of them. Okay, here's a Stargate right here. Navigator refuses to enter Stargate. Gate leads to center of nearby star. Okay. Well, then I guess it's a good thing that you've refused to do it, right? Okay. Here's a planet. No space station here. Crushing gravity. So, it it's a really dense world. You can't land anywhere on it. And the planet is called Cascade. So let me pull up the information for Cascade if you want to read about it. It's the fragment of the core of a black dwarf. Holy cow. That is very dense. If you know anything. I mean, you could have just paused the video and read the rest of that if you didn't get a chance. But we're not here for that. We're here... Oh, there's that second ship I was telling you about that's stationary and you can't target. And it doesn't show up on the long-range scanner either. Oh, by the way, you can change the the range of the scanner by just clicking on where it says scanner. What's this? It looks like an asteroid, but we've been able to target it. Hmm. I think this is going to require... Ceralon skills again. Alright, so let's put you the tech. Alright, so let's circle it a couple times. Ceralon should not take very long to analyze this ship. Whatever it is. Or this asteroid. Bremer Astroship? Okay. So it's not an asteroid, it's an aster ship. So it's like an asteroid, and it's like a ship. I guess kind of like uh, Sludge Volhull's asteroid base in Space Quest 2, if anybody watching knows anything about that. Okay, so looks like we've got the signature for that ship, too. Can we, can we board this ship? We can. The ship is indistinguishable from a large asteroid except for the immense drive unit protruding from the backside and the long entrance tunnel to the hover dock press A2 gone and Stark gained a level. So let's just max out tactics and put three more into close combat firearms and special weapons. And I guess if you guys another level I'll just max out the rest of those. And then find something else to put skills in. Let's talk to them. Welcome to the Four Systems Astroship. What do you want? Let me talk to someone in charge. Continue into the Astroship and maybe the Songmaster will speak to you. Okay, what happens if you say, I want to straighten out your pathetic twisted face? Is that why you came? Keep asking around. Maybe one of the others will accommodate you. Hmm. It's not that funny. Okay, all these guys are the same. They say the same things. Hmm. And this huge natural cavern comprises a large portion of the Astroship Ceremony Hall. Songmaster, okay. The Songmaster seems to be writing something. He doesn't look up. I'm very busy at the moment. I don't have time to talk. I just wanted to ask you a few questions. Not now. This is important work I'm doing. If what you had to say was as important, I'd listen, believe me. But since this is the top priority, you'll have to come back later. Okay. I have something I want to give you. He looks at you impatiently. Alright, what is it? Make it quick. Alright, so you have to give him something to make him give you more dialogue. But we don't have anything to give him right now. Bre Bremer songers sing the old traditions around a fire. Like hippies? Singing kumbaya. Copy viewer disc Q. Young songers are caught to sing the old traditions here. Okay, so I guess they're singing, and I guess you could just record it. So let me just press A, okay, and turn green. So I guess that means that works, I guess. Maybe it'll come into play later, who knows. Actually, it will. Just to spoil it for you. Now. 
Alright, so there's really nothing more you can do here. And if you try to shoot it, it won't even take any damage. So. Okay. This planet over here, with all these great things around it, these are all asteroids. And this is Planet Ruin, and it has a space station. Be very careful flying around the asteroids. You can collide with them, and they will damage your ship. Also, other ships trying to fly to Ruin will inevitably collide with the asteroids and remove them but they will die too okay orbit the world and let's go to the coordinates that Kendall gave us so that's 15 24 608 right here okay and we got a bunch of uh, what the hell is that a probe the hell those probes doing? Okay, tunnel to the north leads to the hover dock, and we got a store here. And sell some energy packs. I guess we'll buy maybe a couple of them. Maybe just one. Now buy two. Things are pretty expensive here, though. probably get the same items on Tickor for a lot less. Alright, let's talk to this guy. What does he have to say? You're the mercs, ain't you? The foreman is waiting for you. I sure hope you can do something about these damn emitters. They're making our lives miserable. Where's the foreman? Just down the hall. You'll see him. If you don't, he'll know you because your mom addresses you funny. He turns away smiling, so you know it was just a good-natured joke. Okay. That does sound like an 80s joke to me. Your mama dresses you funny. <laughs> okay. Alright, here's the foreman. Man, am I glad to see you. If this attack keeps up much longer, we'll all be out of business real quick. I hired the Delta Coro first, but I haven't heard from them. What a bunch of worthless idiots. Tell me what happened. They came a few days ago. It took us a while to figure out what they were, because they kept blasting us with electromagnetic pulses, frying all our equipment. So what are they? They're small alien ships. We shielded a transport enough to get close and managed to bring one down. It was built for two beings, but it was empty, like a probe or something. What else? We don't know what they want, and we can't trace where they came from. Our gear isn't shielded enough to take their pulses. But we do know who sent the little buggers. Who? The Desiree Labs, obviously. Why obviously? Who else could do it? Those witches are the only ones who could suddenly invade a system with small unmanned spaceships. And they're the only ones who'd want to. Why would they want to? That makes no sense. How the hell should I know? They're crazy scientists. Go ask them for yourself. But do it fast. We're gonna go into the red so far we'll never climb out again. Alright, where are these Desiree Labs? I don't know. I think I heard once that there's a base on Tikor, but I don't know where exactly. I'm not even sure they're on Tikor at all. Well, that doesn't give me much to go on. There might be a viewer disc about the Desiree in the library. There's a mag card for the library lying around here somewhere. Don't ask me why we keep it locked up. Is that all? Look, Starkiller, all I want is for you to get these damn emitters out of my system. I don't care how you do it. I think it's the Desirees, and I think they're on Tickor. Now get moving. Okay, so that's the only clue we're going to get. Oh, and there's a mag card here, so I'm going to take it. 845B. Very well. So let's go back to the ship. Another one. Okay, and I don't think you're ever given a clue to this, so I'll just tell you right now. There is another mining base right here. Is it here? Oh no, it's where that uh, ship is on the long-range scanner. There, thereabouts. And then I'll put the uh, the corners in the description 
for both. Yeah, there it is. The tight entry is illuminated by rusty gas lamps. What is this, San Diego? There is a heavy feeling of fear and paranoia in the damp air. Okay, so you're at another base. And here, I don't think... And if you talk to these guys, they say the same things as the other guys at the other base. So, not even worth talking to. And there's no foreman here. They say you just talk to the foreman, but there are items here you can get. So there's an auto mag clip, an extend AML, but I don't think I need any more extended AMLs. But you could sell them if you wanted to. I mean, I'm not going to. I don't need to. Here's here's a couple more mag cards, the same exact ones in my pool right now. Here's a M23 AR, a Kevlar suit. Ener an energy pack, okay, I think I'll just take that. M23, energy cell, yeah, I'll take the cell. Spike sack, grab blocker. Okay, here's another grab blocker, but we're not going to have any more dark haters, and all the dark haters we have have grab blockers, so the most you could do is just sell it, or you could, if you hadn't already, you could just take it to Gale J and then get him in your party. But this is pretty much it right here. An SL20 clip. Not much. I think I'll grab one extend AML. No, not that. Where was it? Was it over here? Yeah, there it is. I'll give it to Acri Jenner, even though Acri Jenner's never coming on the ground squad. Alright. So that's at 947306. I don't think you're ever given the uh, coordinates for that, so you just have to find it. So just letting you know, you know, couldn't hurt, right? Let me check the time. Yeesh! It's like I hardly do anything, and it takes up all the time. Wow. All right. Well, I suppose I'll end the video here. This is Big Low signing off. Thank you for watching. I'll see you in the next episode. I'll try to put it up as soon as possible. So have a nice day.